Hi, Chris Doherty here, technical editor for the uh, RV Travel Channel and the Green RV Project. And, you know, we're modifying this coach to be off the grid and the uh, foundation for our system is our batteries. We're investing a good amount of money in our battery bank and we want to make sure that the batteries are maintained properly. When we're plugged into shore power, that's when they're going to get the best charge and we want to have a good AC charger. In this particular case, we're going to use the Xantrex True Charge 2 60 amp system, and this is probably the best battery charger in the RV and marine environment. Most RVs are equipped from the factory with a basic converter charger. What the converter does is take 120 volts AC from a shore power source or generator and convert it to a fixed voltage, usually around 13.8 volts DC, for a predetermined number of amps. This allows all the 12 volt DC loads in the coach like lighting, appliances, and circuit boards to operate without worrying about the battery going dead. In addition, that voltage is provided back to the battery to replenish its charge. The problem is the basic converter can't turn itself down or off, so it overcharges the battery which can cause it to boil over and can cause long-term battery damage. This is why a three-stage charger is so important. The microprocessor monitors the battery's condition and adjusts the charge rate appropriately. The three stages are bulk, absorption, and float. The bulk rate replaces 70 to 80 percent of the battery's charge as fast as possible. The absorption rate is slower and tops off the last 20 to 30 percent, bringing the batteries to a full charge. The float stage holds the voltage at a reduced, steady rate that maintains the charge but eliminates battery damage. In addition, some chargers will have an equalize or maintenance mode that places a high charge on the batteries for a predetermined amount of time to desulfate the plates and can equalize multiple batteries in a bank. In short, batteries on a three-stage smart charging system will last substantially longer than those connected to a constant on source. In our case, the Xantrex True Charge 2 has all these features, and in addition, it is designed to be able to connect two separate battery banks and has options like a remote panel and remote battery temperature sense. These options are important, and here's why. The True Charge 2 is a good size unit and is likely to be installed somewhere that is difficult to see or access. The remote panel allows full control of all the options of the True Charge 2 while showing precisely what the unit is doing and what condition the batteries are in. In addition, the microprocessor can sense a number of problems or faults and will indicate those on the remote panel. Remote temperature sense is important because optimal battery charging is temperature dependent. Voltage and charge will be different if the batteries are 90 degrees or 30 degrees. This option allows the microprocessor to adjust for these temperature variables. The sensor attaches to one of the battery posts and plugs into the charger. The True Charge 2 is available in models ranging from 10 to 60 amps output and will work on 90 to 265 volts AC from 47 to 63 hertz, which makes it compatible with power systems internationally and comes pre-programmed with charging algorithms for flooded, gel, AGM, or lead calcium batteries. Also, the system is power factor corrected, which is a feature that allows the charging to take place with fewer AC amps which leaves more power available for other AC appliances like air conditioners. A whole new feature for the True Charge 2 is a parallel stacking feature. For those of you who are really looking to add a lot of batteries, the new True Charge 2 has a parallel stacking feature which allows two chargers to work together to provide up to 120 amps of output current. Installation of the True Charge 2 is pretty straightforward and the instructions are very clear. However, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First, the True Charge 2 has specific low voltage cabling requirements between it and the battery bank. The instruction manual details how to size the cable. Don't expect to be able to use the cable that's already in the coach. While it may work fine, it may not be able to handle all the charger can put out and will reduce the charger's efficiency. The AC input has to be hardwired into the unit. Again, don't necessarily expect to use what's in your coach currently you may need to upgrade that wiring first. And third, the temperature sense and remote panel use included RJ11 type cabling and connectors. These will have to be run from the charger to the batteries and the charger to the location you choose for the panel. You will need a hole saw to install the remote panel as well as good access behind it. 
In this instance, we opted to install the True Charge 2 inside the kitchen cabinet near where the original converter unit was installed. The RV power center is also in this area. We were able to route the new cables to the batteries through the floor here, which required dropping the underbelly cover for about half the coach's length. Also, we installed the remote panel next to the coach monitor panel, the solar controller, and the inverter switch, and were able to easily drop the wiring through the wall to the True Charge 2. Once installed and powered up, the True Charge 2 immediately reported on the status of the battery bank and began charging the batteries. In long-term testing, the unit performed admirably, keeping the batteries at a constant charge or recharging as necessary, and we never had a problem with the batteries boiling over or not having enough charge. Between the True Charge 2 and the solar controller, we can see the status of the battery bank at all times, whether hooked up to shore power or boondocking. No guessing required. In addition, because both the solar charger and the True Charge 2 are multi-stage chargers, we're assured that the batteries are getting their optimal charge at all times, which will allow them to last for many years. For more information on the Xantrex True Charge 2, visit their website at www.xantrex.com. Also, there are additional links, including where you can purchase the items used in the Green RV project, in the description of each YouTube video.